Welcome to the update tutorial on my UMAP or CMAP version now. Uh, CMAP is my own version for exporting UMAPs and importing them into, uh, into Blender. At the moment only works Valorant, but I work on, on also getting other games to run. So, first thing you have to do is make a new folder for it. Uh, I just call this folder CMAP and what you else have to do is go into your settings under update and security you go to window security to um, this one with this icon then you go to settings scroll down to exclusion and exclusion add folder and then you go where your folder is for me it's on my desktop cmap select this folder press yes and it's get added in here this is needed uh, because of cmap is a self-made coded um, program for me uh, and I don't buff any si signature or sign for it because this will cost me around $100 a year and I simply don't have or the money to spend on the signature so you can use it it's no virus or something like this but the Windows Defender will think it will be one because it don't have a public signature so after we added this you can right click it and um, and pack it here so we can delete this raw file first thing we are, are doing is going to umodel.exe paste in our folder for me this one here with the relevance of white game detection Unreal Engine 4 relevant like this these are the settings you should use up here you should of course be your path then the as key i saved it on my other screen but of course i closed it a second ago here yes the as key we're adding everything likes always so first thing we're doing is going to scan content and as options i mean sorry we don't need to scan content, but uh, we have to switch this to GTF Actor X PSK, this to GTF. Then we switch this path to just the folder, nothing else. So no new model export, just the folder. And this is everything. We can now press, press OK. Right click the game folder up here and export folder content. He asks again if the settings are right and you say yes. This may take a while till um, it's completely finished. So I will now just make a small um, time lapse for it. This took around 10 minutes, I think. Yeah, 500 seconds. This should be around nearly 10 minutes. And 
Yeah, this should also take that long for you. You can close it now. And going back to this folder. In this folder we have now the engine the game folder. But you normally don't have to go in there. So next thing we are doing is open the cmap.exe file. It could be that your antivirus program, Windows Defender or anything like this, say oh, this is a file from an unknown um what's called unknown creator and you can't open it then you have to like click on something called more info or something like this and then you have the button where you can just open it i cited to my pc so my pc now said it's nothing bad but for any anybody else it could be that it's a little bit trying so First thing, paste your relevant path in, example, this is an example path. Um, my path looks a little bit different. It's under my DSSD for my games. I paste it in here. Just the packs folder we also use for your model, nothing so special. Press enter, press again enter. So we see this part here. Map name you want to port, U map name, non and game name. So we need the map names we can read out from U model, like the games, in game names, and uh, not the in game names, like Bind is Duality, Haven is Twilight, Icebox is Port, and stuff like this. And then we type in the map we want to port, like I know I want to split this example. So I go in here and type in Bonsai. I can also use any other one, like a Duality for Bind. Everything works. All f six maps are tested. All six, map uh, six maps should work fine. So we press enter again. And this takes on some time and you see, start reading all your PEX files. And when you uh, finish all reading all your PEX files, it's passed and loading every UMAP file and save it. So press any key to exit. We do this, of course. And now we get the JSON folder. In here, we see all the UMAP files converted into JSON text formats. So, from this is a good like starting point. Now, only thing we have to do is to decide: do we want to work in Blender, or do we want to use um, only go into Blender to make it and then export it as FBX to use it in other programs like Cinema4D. Unreal Engine, Maya, 3ds Max, or whatever you want. Um, I decide for I pick the Blender version, but it works nearly. It works nearly the same. The only difference is FBX looks a little bit more shitty than the um, bl full Blender version because of stuff like um, like blending uh, node work. Because I can't use these nodes when I want later ported as FBX to other programs. So. It's only support normal map and diffuse. So, so we just open the, the in the newest banner version 2.9.3, and then we have here our important settings. The most important ones are this one, where our CMAP folder goes in. For me, it's this path now. Go in here and paste it in. The, if you want a single part, as a single UMAP imported or the full map, as example, we imported duality, and we want to import the full map, of course, not the, just a single part. But if you want to import just single part, you can go into JSONs, Shooter Games, Content Maps, Duality, and then you have all the different names here, like Art B, Art Defense, and only the art ones are really important if you want to import single u maps so um also these two questions are also stuff you uh, that are important for you if you want to use lights or say no nah, the lights don't fit me uh, i use my own light set up later with my own sky and stuff like this you can put it on false so it don't import lights and same with instant meshes instant meshes are the meshes that are ported and textured but not placed correctly and 
this because of this they are just flying around and you when you say like ah oh, no i don't care about instant instance you can also deactivate them with just writing false so but i switch this map name now to reality so when i now run the script oh wait before i run the script i op open this toggle the console this is uh, not important but if you have any problems with crashes um, python errors or anything you always get the error code in here and this helps me if you dm me this helps me to find out what you did wrong when you just send me this code so i can see and this part what you changed here so i can see what you did and what you did not perfect so i move this to another screen start the umap script and like you can see it start working um i will do a, ti a t um, time lapse again the time lapse um I do is because last time uh, I got a lot of DMs of people saying uh, I did not uh, understand your English good or I'm from start not really good in English so I don't understand why you where you got this folders from or what you did after this after the cut and stuff like this and because of this I just work with time lapse this time and you guys can just see everything my PC is doing and I do. So, <clears throat> and now, yeah, at the end it's always a little bit, not laggy, but it always take the time to generate everything in the viewport. Now we also have to take some time because it has to compile all the shaders and this takes some time. Yeah, it was a little bit fast on my PC, it probably will not that fast on your PC because I had all this already in the cache because I tried it earlier for all six maps so I can when I release see if every map works and like you see the full map is ported everything is textured there's some stuff like um, super good play planes I'm not pretty 100% sure for what it is at the moment yet ported you can just delete them they're just here. I think it should be emitting some stuff like particles or anything else. But you can just search for them and deactivate all of them or delete them. Your decision. So. After this, you probably will also have some other stuff like. Um, light frames or and light blocker this is just the basic lighting stuff but when we check out the files here we see a spawn looks good i picked a because it's open at the moment here and when i see we don't have no static meshes this is everything that plays correctly and Instant meshes is everything that's not co placed correctly and has to get placed manually. This is example is not in this one. I 
think it's an instant mash from Vista. No, from Midpath. Yeah. So, but yeah, this is everything. And one more feature that my script has is this part here, vertex colors. You go in here, go to the setup and then to vertex colors, open it, create a new one and call it, call it something like um, blending. Then you go in here, select blending. And now you can switch to the vertex paint mode. With this on black, you can start painting everywhere where the points are. And with this you get like this effect that also appear in game where stuff like here gets sandy a little bit. And also switch it to white or brighter color so you get sandy effects again. And yeah, with this you just have to repaint how it looks in-game. But if you're done with this, you only have to do it once and then it looks good. You can save the map. And this is uh, like a really neat feature, I would say. That it a nice effect, like you can see it also go first into the holes from broken parts like here. When I start drawing a little bit white in here, we start with going to the holes, then to the paths between the single bricks, and from there I'll go far, further, further, and further, till you completely only see the sand. Also, one big feature with the new one is it picks the white colors. With the old ones, this would be, as example, just white, but now it picked automatically the white color so it's not white anymore it's not this yellowish color same with everything else nearly everything in Valorant used different AO colors and diffuse colors like you can see here same with the sand, bricks AO color is nearly everywhere a little bit changed and diffuse colors also really often change, so without changing of the diffuse color, everything would look way too bright or even white. So this is a big feature of the new update that the full map can now get imported. And yeah, if you have any problems, you can always DM me via Discord. The link will be in the description. And I hope this tutorial helped you. The download link of the program is at the moment for my Patreon supporter only, but the download link will also be in the description. And yeah, hope you had fun with it and see you around.